start, I'm going to remove this engine cover. There are three 5 millimeter Allen bolts uh, to be removed down here. I only have two because my third one's broken, but either way, remove whatever you have here. 5 millimeter Allen. If they stay in there, that's fine. They can stay with the cover. And then to actually fully remove this cover, you have to pry it up on the back. There we go. It has a few clips here. These hooks um, are what hold it in, so pry those out, remove the cover. I'm just going to start by removing some hoses that are in my way here just so I can have more access. Take this one off of the air intake, set it aside, um, remove. I'm going to remove this one. Uh, I'm not going to remove it all the way, but I'm going to unhook it and kind of just push it to the side there. This one right here, I'm going to take this hose clamp off and then remove the hose. You, if you need to, you can give it a little twist to break it free, and then it should slide right off. Sometimes you can use these pliers to uh, help it come off. There we go. Now this can get pushed out of the way. And uh, there's one more hose over here. Move that aside. Now we have much better access to the two variable valve timing solenoids. Now with an eight millimeter, uh, your clamp might be different, but for me it's an eight millimeter. I'm gonna just loosen this up just a little bit. This is gonna allow me to pull this air intake back off of the throttle body, and that way I have access to that 10 millimeter bolt right down there. I can remove this. The reason I want to remove this is because I need this bracket to move and uh, otherwise the solenoid won't have room to come out fully. So once this is out, there's a nut on the other side of the bracket that needs to be removed as well. The nut that I'm talking about is this one right here. Remove this one as well. The bracket comes off, perfect. Take it out of the way with a 10 millimeter. Let's remove this bolt that locks in the solenoid. Once you break it free, you can just remove it by hand. Remove the bolt. And before I go too far, I'm gonna unplug the electrical connector. There we go. Sometimes they get gummed up with sand and they get, become hard to remove. And at this point, you want to just twist it out of the way. Or at this point, you want to just twist it to break it free. Might need a pair of pliers. I'm wiggling it back and forth. If these have been here for the life of the vehicle, they're going to be pretty stuck. But if you just work it back and forth, they'll break free. Just going to try and help it along with this pry bar. Be very gentle if you have to do this, but I'm just trying to see if I can help it along. Make it pop out of here. There we go. There's your rear uh, bank variable valve timing solenoid. Oil will come out because they're usually filled with oil. Take your new solenoid and slide it down in there. Make sure it lines up with the hole and press it down all the way. And when you do, you want to make sure that it kind of clicks into place. That's how you know that the O-ring has seated and it seals up. I'm going to use the rubber end of my hammer and just tap it in. There we go, that went in all the way. So it's still lined up, let's connect it. Make sure the connector clicks. That's how you know it locks in. Put in the bolt. Bottom it out, and then I'm just gonna snug it. These don't have to be very tight, they're small. 
delicate bolts. They won't break easily. That's bottomed out right there. It's going to give it like a quarter of a turn at most. Perfect, right there. Now let's put everything else back. Let's get this bracket installed again. Make sure you line up the stud that's on there and the bolt hole for the throttle body. Reinstall the bolt. Okay, I'm starting the bolt by hand, that way it doesn't cross thread. Do the same to the nut. Bottom both of them out, and the nut doesn't really have a torque spec, so just make that one snug. But the bolt into the throttle body does get torqued to eight foot pounds. Eight foot pounds. Right there. Now let's get the air intake connected to the throttle body again. Make sure that this slides over. It doesn't uh, pinch anything. Slide it on all the way. And let's tighten up this clamp. Nice and snug. All right, so let's connect all the hoses now. I'm going to start with this one right here. Make sure that gets pressed on all the way. Let's reattach the hose clamp. And there was another hose that we removed off of the intake right there. So connect that one back, make sure it's pressed on all the way. Okay, if you pushed any other hoses aside, make sure you put them back where they belong. Let's get the engine cover on. Let's get the engine cover on. I like to line it up with the oil fill cap. That's the easiest way to do it. And then with the studs here, once it falls into place, press it on the back here. Make sure the two hooks snap in. Now let's reattach the front bolts that held on the rest of it. Okay, snug them up. Again, I only had two, but if you have all three, obviously put them all back. All right, now start the car. Make sure you have no check engine lights and make sure it runs smoothly.